Hey guys, how's it going, Kapan here? Today we're going to talk about a card I recently had a reasonable amount of experience with in Arena. It's the Fire Guard Destroyer. Uh, this is basically, at least in Arena, it's one of like the biggest things that have come to Shaman. Uh, Shaman was generally a pretty strong class. Uh, it basically had to do with how many Fire Metals do you have. Well, if you have a lot, you'll do well. Now the Fire Guard Destroyer is very close to Fire Metal and Strength in the Arena. Uh, and there's some things to really be learned from this card. In the draft today I had three and I got to notice a few things. Uh, uh, but in Constructed, it's um, a little bit more of a complicated card. Um, overall, of course, it's a very strong card. Uh, just to go through the basics, because there's some randomness involved, uh, it's a four mana. If you average out the attack gain, the battle cry, it's it's two and a half attack. So it's it's like a four mana overload one, so it's kind of like slightly better than five mana for five and a half, six worth of stats. And, you know, it has some combo potential. So it's, 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 it's a great card, of course. Of course it's a great card. Um, in Constructed, the main issue that this card has is it doesn't actually change anything for Shaman. It's just like a dude, you know, big dude. Okay, you still lose to the same things. You're still going to do well against the same things. You just gonna, It just makes the Shaman class a little bit stronger because the card is really powerful and it's almost an auto-include. It does compete for a few spots and in some decks it's actually not included from what I've seen. I've been running uh, just some death rattle crazy combo shamans that you guys know in the past and this card is not that good. Um, the overload actually screws with combo decks more than others and uh, in that deck it's competing as with most these days, Piloted Treader. And Piloted Treader is, is a card that uh, really does compete with the Fire Guard Destroyer. It is, of course, the four drop of choice in every other deck in Hearthstone right now because the card is generally overpowered. Out of the Piloted Treader, you're generally gonna see a 2-2. Two -two. And there's, there's some very important things to realize. Even though the stats for Fire Guard Destroyer are extreme, um, depending on when it's played, some stats are relevant and some are not. So if you want to compare Fire Guard Destroyer to like Water Elemental, for instance, uh, I would argue that Water Elemental is actually better than Fire Guard Destroyer. And this is because um, when you play Fire Guard Destroyer on turn four, I think playing a Water Elemental is going to be better. In the mid game, if you can deny weapons with the freeze, it's gonna be better. And in the mid game, three attack is a little low, but because you're a mage, it's usually fine. Um, it's really the, the sixth health that's important. The sixth health means if your opponent wants to take back board control from your huge turn four play, it will absorb six damage. And if you played it before your opponent played a four drop, it will basically kill anything it attacks to it anyway. So, you know, on the defensive end, the attack doesn't really matter if it's enough. And Water Elemental has enough attack, generally. So that's why it's it's not really any better in that case. And in the late game, uh, Fire Guard Destroyer is, is often a bit better. Water Elemental might be better to stall out against like weapon classes, but the Fire Guard Destroyer would opting for more damage and a bigger board presence. And in the late game, the overload is much less relevant. Um, it's, it's generally better. So it's better as a late game card, which is why it's, uh, you know, really, really good. Uh, in Arena, but in Constructed, I feel uh, this card is just a little bit overrated. I'm not saying it's not good, it's absolutely amazing, but in Constructed, there's basically something amazing for every mana cost already. And, you know, as I talked about, like, the, the Piloted Shredder, in a lot of cases, basically is a Piloted Shredder. If you play a Piloted Shredder, they have two, like, 3-2 or 2-3 creatures, and both of those are basically going to kill themselves to kill your 4-drop. And if it's a Fire Guard Destroyer or if it's a Pilot and Shredder, it doesn't actually matter most of the time. It's it's going to be the same thing. Um, it's only going to matter if the Fire Guard Destroyer can be comboed with a few cards. And there are some combos, some more obscure than others, but players are not really taking advantage of these yet. They're just using it as a, a good, solid, big dude. And actually, in a lot of cases, people are using Fire Guard Destroyers in Constructed with Piloted Shredders, and they're taking out five drops like Sludge Belcher because, well, that overload, that's a little bit of a problem. Skipping turn five used to be like nothing. It's like, you know, fuck it. No, no turn five? Are you kidding? Who cares? There's nothing good to play on turn five. But now, now there is good stuff to play on turn five. In fact, Shaman struggles with draw so much and then needs spell damage. Basically, Azure Drake is almost an auto-include in every single constructed Shaman deck, so it makes it a little bit clunky in that sense. And in Arena, well, 
curving out does have a lot of value when when you're playing a four drop that's just going to absorb six damage and its attack value is not relevant fire guard destroyer is actually reasonably often i'd say maybe about half the time worse than just the yeti you know it's going to take two hits from two three twos and well if you play a yeti you can play a five drop next turn if you play the fire guard destroyer you might not be able to play a five drop next turn it's also very important when you're when you're having to use like the coin so if you're coining out a four drop uh, it's normally fine because four drops are really pivotal. Like four drops are a lot better than three drops. Like three drops are a bit better than two drops. They didn't used to be, but now they're a bit better than two drops. But the difference between three and four is still a, a, probably one of the biggest ones. And uh, being able to coin out a fire guard destroyer is great, but if on your next turn you're playing a three drop, that sucks. That's basically like losing a lot of the advantage. So. It has some curving problems. Most cards that overload don't really have a big impact. Um, it's just kind of like whatever. But with Fireguard Destroyer, with the early game being so, you know, so precise, so so aggressive, that the overload does seem to make uh, somewhat of a noticeable difference. It really is like a five mana cost card because every single mana crystal in the first five turns is precious, let's say. Some other mana interactions, you can't really run uh, three mana overload cards. Like if, if you run Feral Spirit and Fireguard Destroyer, you need a very good reason to. Because uh, if you Feral Spirit, then you can't play Fireguard Destroyer. And you never want to play Fireguard Destroyer on five, because if you play Fireguard Destroyer on five, you overload on six mana, so you can't fire elemental. So it has some really weird interactions with that. Most overload cards are traditionally spells, at least the good ones. So you, you use them when you have to. If it's, it's a good time to, to use a spell, you don't feel bad. But if it's like the only creature you have and it screws your next turn's play of a creature, the advantage that it's a lot of stats really kind of goes out the window a lot. And that's something I think people don't really realize. So it has some problems with uh, the overload. It has some problems with the fit in some Shaman decks. Even though Lost Shamans are dropping five drops to run this card, it's still a little clunky. It's not like a win-win card. It's win, a, win more than you lose type of card. It's still good. Um, in terms of the range, you know, most of the time when it gets four, five, six is kind of cute and stuff. But uh, the attack that it gets doesn't really matter unless you get like a lot and you combo that portion. So uh, in Arena, at least in the Arena that I had, um, uh, I was actually able to combo him with Windspeaker because Windspeaker is a four drop. You can turn four Fireguard Destroyer and then turn five when you're overloaded one mana crystal to saturate all your mana using Windspeaker on your Fireguard Destroyer. And if in that case you get six or seven, well, that's pretty badass because um, in a lot of cases at that point, people will choose to ignore your big creature. Uh, what happens is if, if you play a creature that your opponent can't deal with, sometimes they will switch to go face. And if you play the Wind Fury, it basically gains taunt as well. So you get that advantage. The other is that um, if they just play a four drop, you crush their four drop and crush the board. So it's also really strong in that end. And in Arena, because you have to play a lot of two drops, um, the overload is probably less relevant than it is in constructed because you can you can play him on on four and then on five because he's like the big presence he clears out their four drop and has a few health points left you can kind of deny the next play of the opponent by doing like totem dude uh, totem and then like a two drop so it, there's some flexibility it seems to work much better in arena than it does in constructed. And of course, in Constructed, even though you might try to combo him with like Unbound, that kind of stuff, that hasn't really taken off. Uh, in Constructed, if you get the jackpot, seven attack, eh, you get big game hunted. Yeah, yeah. And of course, um, there is actually, some people, some people don't know about this, but there's actually a shaman only card that costs five, but really four mana most of the time, that does exactly the same thing that Fireguard Destroyer does. It's Fel Reaver, yeah. So if you play like, you know, Beck Shaman, you just just play Fel Reaver. If, if you want to play a big dude and go face, 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 you know, it's you can do that. You can do that already. Uh, Fel Reaver is really strong in that type of deck, but I wouldn't call it overpowered. And for that same reason, I wouldn't call Fireguard Destroyer overpowered. At least not in Constructed. But in Arena, well, it's on the edge. It's not quite Fire Elemental status but it's pretty close and uh, it can be a pretty devastating card. Right now in Arena, 
Fire Guard Destroyer and Fire Elemental with both cards you can never have too many of. So just pick away, have fun, and well, hope you get at least five attack because four attack doesn't really do it for Shaman most of the time. But if you do get that five, you're gonna get a couple free wins and you're gonna be pretty happy that uh, this card is in the game. Overall, pretty good stuff. Pretty standard stuff, nothing too outrageous, but I thought, you know, if you guys do want to check out all the Blackrock cards, maybe my insight will help you make uh, better decisions, better decks, and maybe better drafts in Arena. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, check out the games, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What the fuck is that? This is like the middle ground play. It's not the highest tempo. It's not the most conservative, but it's, it's good. Reporting for duty. Well played. MC Tech. Oh wow, it's actually good enough. Not on my watch. Or not. Four drop, OP OP. Yeah. I'm keeping the hand, it might seem a bit weird, but silence is like ridiculously important against the priest, and fire guard destroyer is just nuts. So, with a zappy zappy and a pretty low curve deck, I'm hoping that I get a one, two, or three I can compliment. Is someone injured? If he has Velens right off the bat, I've lost already. If not, I should be fine. Oh, who is? The damned stand. Oh no, okay. Yeah, him destroying my weapon is just fine. Because I have a better one. The 
Seven, baby. We have six mana next turn. We can Doom Hammer, Rock Biter. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. <laughs> okay. Feel the power. All will burn, boys. Spell damage, Charlie Nova again. Jesus. <laughs> Thing is, we know he didn't have um, a death because he would have just played that. And we have to play this sooner rather than later because of mind control. Oh, he, he drew a death last turn? Oh, come on. Yeah, fucking bullshit, dude. Really? Like, really, really? how it's got to be. You can do a totem first, I guess. Your magic shall not save you. Elements guide me. Do we want to go to one? He's already holding another twice. We should just not attack. No. Thing is, I can't play all of these. I wonder. Oh yeah, I can. I just have to bounce the summoned totem. Are you kidding me? That puts him one out of lethal range. I want a spell damage totem. Yeah, taunt's okay too. so much to think about. It's like light bomb, death wing, or mind blast, or holy fire. It needs to be one of those. Well nope. Again, we have a low curve deck, so we can keep a four drop. Give me an axe, I'll win. Zappy, zappy.
Okay. Alright, well, four is okay against Priest. Except if we get Velens. Okay, we didn't get Velens. That's good, I guess. We went with a silence there because that makes it so on turn six we can do fire guard and then a totem. And we kind of needed to silence that piece of crap anyway. And the 4 2 is dying anyway, so 4 3 is. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. Again, I think we're getting pretty wrecked on these rolls, by the way. What we do. I think so. Yeah, now we get seven, it doesn't matter because it's going to get death, right? Oh, that's terrific, actually. I hope you like my invention. Feel the power. Another Holy Nova would be pretty good. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Are you serious? We're gonna combo wombo him off the face of the earth here in a second. Top deck Fen Creeper. Another round. Push for a little bit of damage, I think. It's a bit risky though. It's priest. Why was that a misplay? He's already had two holy novas. Pretty fucking unlikely if you have more. It's actually okay, because it slows him down so much. that but I think it's a bad idea too. I think we want to slow him down this one turn.
Taunt, 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 taunt. Yes. Top deck Sunwalker. Alright. 